Hi guys, haven't done an update on the sheep in forever, so wanted to kind of show you guys what's going on. Um, you can see the ladies here we have. Next to us is our pregnant hoggett slash ewe. I think she turns a ewe in a couple months. Uh, no, probably next month. Uh, maybe late this month, I'm not sure. But she'll be, <laughs> she will be out of the hoggett stage. Um, her name is Chi Chi. I don't know if you guys ever got to meet her. She is um, very pregnant and going to deliver in a couple weeks maximum. <laughs> um, but uh, she's pretty tame and, you know, very, very, you can't really see what I'm doing, but I was petting her. She's very tame. She's also very stubborn. And the other three girls are there. In the middle there is Sarah. And that one is Winnie. And over there you can't really see her. That is Mary. Primarily I wanted to show off our horse who is destro slowly destroying this fence. <laughs> um, but basically if you have a horse in with your sheep and you have it separated, the horse probably will do the same thing ours is doing, which is bending the heck out of the fence. Um, he's trying to get to the feed, which at this point I threw a little bit of grain in here just to make sure the girls hung around while I did the video. And he, of course, ran right over, ducked over, and is eating all their grain. <laughs> you can see all the hay that they've wasted. <laughs> but uh, they get plenty of their grain, and I give them a, um, call it a flake each of hay. So they're getting plenty of food. None of them are really skinny. But I wanted to show off the pallet shelter here. We made a pallet shelter out of seven pallets. Um, that was all I was going to buy from the lady, but she gave, I was going to buy eight just in case something was wrong with one or something would happen with them, but she gave us two of them free. So we ended up with 10. We have three extra right now, which I'm sure we'll make a new shelter in the front for when we separate these guys this weekend, because we're going to put Chi Chi and Mary in, a, oh, excuse me. We're going to put Chi Chi and Mary in a, in the front pasture area that we have fenced off. That way, um, Chi Chi will be able to birth in peace. And I can see here, I don't know if you can see it here, but I could, I can see that Chi Chi, her vulva is definitely getting a little more swollen. I don't know what spooked them there, but her vulva is definitely getting a little more swollen. Um, possibly even a little bit of protrusion. I'll have to look, check closer at that in the morning because we don't want it to protrude, so she might be getting a little too much grain if it's protruding. Um, but that'll be more easy to get her less grain once they're up front by themselves. Oh, look, Diamond's coming to visit with his spoiled brat self. <laughs> but basically, that's all I was going to share with you guys was just that, that new setup and that update and what we're looking forward to. Basically, Chi Chi is supposed to lamb somewhere between February 14th and the 21st. Somewhere in that week is when she's due. If, um, you know, she's a first time, she first time lamb, lambing, so she may go early or late. I've definitely got all the supplies I need to help out if I need to. Don't plan to interfere unless something looks like it's going bad, which hopefully nothing does. But that's all I wanted to update you guys on today. So I will let it go with that. Again, beware of horses in with the sheep because they destroy the fence <laughs> and they chew on you. <laughs> Bye, guys.